Welcome to 3D Reviews, I am Justin and today we are talking about how to grow your facial hair. The number one thing that you need to know about growing your facial hair is patience. And you better have plenty of it because this stuff does not grow quite as much as you would like overnight. The next thing you need to know is don't trim. A big mistake that a lot of people make is trimming up your beard or your mustache or your goatee or whatever you're trying to grow prematurely. You're gonna want to let it grow at least four to six weeks, if not even longer than that. Just leave it alone because you will pay for it in the long run if you don't. The next thing is, well, quite frankly, more patience. Because even though that you've let your beard grow out for that four to six weeks or maybe a little longer, before, you are still going to have spots that are a little patchy and that aren't quite filled in. Now, we do have spots on our face and it is different for everybody that fills in quicker than others. So don't be ashamed or think that your beard's gonna look horrible in the future once it grows out to being a full luscious beard. At this time, what you could do is fix up your lines on your cheeks, figure out exactly where you want that to come in at, exactly how far down your neck you want your beard to start at. Now at this time, or maybe even a little bit before this four to six weeks is up, you're gonna wanna get yourself a few products because your beard or your facial hair is gonna be getting itchy because your skin's not used to having a bunch of hair come out of it. So I would definitely suggest pick yourself up some beard balm and some beard oil and a brush or two. Now what you're gonna wanna do with that brush is you're gonna wanna make sure that you are brushing it and training your hair to go the direction that you want it to go. Some people prefer it to go straight down and some people prefer it to go toward the chin area. It all depends on what you wanna do with it and a little bit on what your hair is already doing. But you're gonna to wanna to brush at least a couple times a day. Now once it gets to that point where it is longer than just on your skin and you can't really use a brush very super easily, I would suggest picking yourself up a wooden comb. Now I suggest the wooden ones over the plastic ones, the same reason why most guys do, and that is because of the way that the plastic combs are made. The inside of the comb tends to be a little bit sharp and you can kind of cut and break off your facial hair a lot easier with those than you can, let's say, a wood one. Now once you get to the point where everything is filled in and looking decent, but still it's looking awfully scraggly just because, well, you haven't done a trim on it, I say go to a good barber that knows what he's doing and pay attention to how he's cutting them. And also, of course, watch a bunch of videos here on YouTube. I have one about how I cut and trim my handlebar mustache. Now that you know what the process of growing out your facial hair is, you're probably saying, Justin, is there any way that I can make it grow better? Either that's faster, stronger, or fuller. Well, I'll tell you right off the bat, there are medications out there that you can get to be able to do those things. But before you go to those options, I highly suggest you use the ones that I'm about to tell you about. First thing is exercise. I have read quite a few articles online that state that exercise can indeed help because it helps get your heart rate up, it helps the blood flow, and blood flow is definitely good for your hair. Number two thing, and I think probably makes even more difference, is your diet. We don't get a lot of the nutrients that we should be getting when we are sitting around eating. Well, usually what we can get at the grocery store and a lot of that is, let's face it, it is junk food. So a lot of what I'm gonna say now in this diet portion is just really about eating healthier. However, you don't just wanna eat healthy, you wanna eat things that have the good nutrients that your hair needs in them. This includes foods with vitamins like omega-3s, B6, B12, and E, 
can all help grow a better beard because those are all very good for the skin as well as for the hair itself. Some of the foods that you'll want to make sure that you're adding into your diet that include some of those things are things like lean beef, chicken, and fish. Non-meat foods that include a lot of this is also eggs, bananas, potatoes. Regular or sweet works perfectly fine. As well as adding in a bunch of different nuts in there can also help with your facial hair growth. So like I said, it's really just eating a healthier diet can definitely help improve your facial hair. And even then, we still may not be getting all of the nutrients that we need. So I say a good supplemental daily vitamin that is specifically for men will definitely help improve, get a little bit more of those vitamins in you that you need to be able to grow whatever you want to grow. Now I want to know what it is that your goal is. Are you trying to grow some chops, a goatee, a full out beard? A mustache and if so what kind let me know down in the comments section below now if all of that doesn't work for you I just want to say that there are those products that can help however I also want to let you know that those products aren't gonna fill in where you don't have hair it may help the hair get thicker longer quicker However, if you don't have the hair follicle in a spot due to certain genes or a scar or a burn or something like that, you're just not going to have the hair there to grow. So therefore, I definitely would leave those products to be your last options because even with those products, it still comes down to patience and the fact that you're going to have to wait for it to grow anyway. And don't forget that there are plenty of products out there to help you get your facial hair under control. And I've done a review of many of those, so make sure to check out the playlist to the right. And of course, hit that subscribe button so that you get more videos just like this one along with plenty of male grooming product reviews and lifestyle videos. And until next time, you have a good one.